Hi there, it's Stuart Tan and I'm so glad that you're here. If you are not yet a subscriber, hit that subscribe button so that you can stay in touch with all the updates that we have on this channel. So you would have noticed that we are changing. I've wanted to do this for a very long time, kind of procrastinated upon it because it's so technical and takes such a long time to do. But as long as you're supporting it and you've got questions, I'll be very happy to address some of them and, you know, perhaps make a video just based on the comments or the questions that you might have. So 2017 is almost over. We're starting on an entire series on goal setting so that you will be able to make your best 2018 possible. So in this particular episode, I'm going to share with you this idea about how not to set your goals. And it's a really simple starting point. You and I both know this thing called the SMART goals, right? Specific, measurable, actionable, realistic, and time-bound. Now, once you've got those five characteristics, they're great, fantastic for task orientations and for project management. However, it's not quite the same with life goals. And we'll come to that in a subsequent video. But do remember that as you're proceeding, there must be a reason why you didn't hit your goals in the first place. And if you're going through that entire process of figuring out what your goals are now, then let's start on the right footing. Otherwise, your goal setting is just going to be an excitement, a rush to write down all those things where you're rewarded just for writing things down rather than going out there and accomplishing stuff. So right now, I'd like you to pay very close attention, spend a little bit of time to do this form of reflection. Number one, make sure that you ask yourself what goals you've already set that you have accomplished. Give yourself a pat on the back. Celebrate that. Okay. The second part is to identify the goals that you've set that you have not accomplished. Now, that's also challenging because sometimes people don't want to acknowledge what they have not done. Let's just put it this way. It is so crucial for you to learn to be accountable even for myself, I mean, I've done so many goal setting statements in my past that uh, I lose track of my goals. You know, those lists of things that I wanted to accomplish, you know, whether it's writing a book, publishing an album and so on and so forth. All those things seem to have been swept under the carpet because new priorities have come up. Now, you've got to ask yourself this question. Number one, are you accountable to that? And if you're committed and accountable to that, put that back on that list. But if it's no longer important for you, take that and shove it under the carpet because you don't need them anymore. So it's crucial for us to have this starting point because if you don't, what's likely to take place in your subsequent uh, goal setting procedures is that you're going to lose a lot of confidence because you, at the back of your head, every, every individual is going to go like, you know, I've done this before. Why does it sound so familiar? Why does it feel so familiar? And why is it that this goal is still the same as what happened five years ago? You don't want your brain to do that to you, right? So build that sense of confidence by making sure that you weed out the things that are not so important and come to terms, reflect upon and come to terms, own up to the fact that there are certain things that you just have not done, okay? So if you've not done those, great. This is a good starting point for you to make a new commitment to ensure that you make these things happen. Now, again, Many of these goals that you set are what we call uh, doing goals. They're behavioral goals. So I'm going to get in shape. I'm going to stand up on the stage. I'm going to earn $100,000 this year and so on and so forth. Do remember, as you're doing all this, think to yourself, who are you? Who are you being that will help you to get to where you need to go? So it's a very critical statement because if you want to achieve great things, you first need to become that great person. And you already have it in you. It's just that you haven't been focusing on that. It's the simple principle of be, do, have, not do, have, be. So you're not a human doing, you're a human being. And at the center of that all is the basis of all of the things that should belong to you, your birthright. The thing that you want to have in your life is, got, is simply just a reflection of who you are. So as you're thinking about what you've done, what you haven't been able to accomplish yet, take stock, get an, a sense of understanding who you are, what you, where you've come from, uh, what challenges you've gone through, what priorities have shifted in your life, so that once you take stock, your entire goal setting process is going to be much more fruitful and much more valuable. So if you found this useful, please share this with your friends. If you've got further questions, 
comment in the box below so that I'll be able to understand a little bit more what you need in the content that I can provide for you. So once again, this is Stuart Tan signing off, wishing you the very best in your day ahead.